Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to learn how to add watermark into our PDF document. Now, watermark are very, very useful to add into your document, maybe to signify this is a confidential document or this is a draft document or this is an unpresented or a document that is not ready to go out or something or just to protect it, do not copy or do not print or something like that. I'm sure you've seen it in different kind of documents and so on. But in this one, we're going to learn how to apply the watermark using a very simple tool called I Love PDF, which is very, very free for anyone to use and share with your friends. Now to access I Love PDF, you, all you need is to come to any of when you are within your browser and just type in I Love PDF and you can hit on enter, be brought in over to this very platform. Now you have a number of um, different kind of features that this I Love PDF has. But for this tutorial, our target is uh, watermark. Stamp an image or text over your PDF document in seconds. Choose the typography, the transparency, and the position of the text. This platform gives you that flexibility to adjust the property accordingly. Now, let's select on this, and then you'll be brought in over to this platform. Now, you have the option to bring in the document that you want to add the watermark on, either directly by dragging and dropping, or selecting it within your system, anywhere within the directory where you have it, you can just navigate there and just import the, the PDF file. Alternatively, you can bring in the file from any of these two platforms, which is either uh, Google Drive or Dropbox. So for this tutorial, for this example, I'm going to bring in the PDF file from within my system. So I just click and then I can bring in the PDF file. Let's say this simple book. I can just select it and bring in over here. Okay, so you can see the book has been brought in with all its pages. Okay, so I just want to add in watermark. So the easiest way to do that is you can add a text or, or an image. If you have an image that you want to put across the entire document, you can use it or you can add a text. So for this example, let's start with adding a text. You can add more files again from here using this plus sign. You can add from your system, from Google Drive or from Dropbox. Now the text that you want to add, you can put it over here. The default is I love PDF, but you can put this document is confidential, confidential. Okay, so confidential, nobody should use it or nobody should open it. Now this is a text, the text formatting uh, talks about the sizing, what kind of size you want to use. You can click on this TT and then let's say we'll give a size of something like, let's say we can give a size of 56 over here. You can try it and see if the size fits what you want. If it doesn't, you can um, change it to something else. So let's say I'll go with 56. You can bold, you can italize, you can underline, you can change the color of the the watermark that you want to change. For this example, I'm going to get every, everything at default. I just changed the sizing. Now down here, you change the position of the watermark. At this moment, it's going to be located at the top right, top left corner. But all I want is to be distributed from the center of the document. Okay, you can change it to be mosaic if you want it repeatedly like this. Okay, but at this moment, I just want it to be at the center of the document. Now the transparency, you talk about the transparency. You have to make it highly transparent so that it doesn't obstruct what you have within the document. So for this example, I'm going to go with 25%, which is going to be very dim, just like what you have in the document. Okay, you can see, right? So down here, we talk about the rotation. Do you want it to be flat or horizontal within the document? Or in most cases, you see it slanted or rotated at 45 degrees. For this one also, we're going to go with 45 degrees. So all I need is just click here and say, uh, I want it to be 45 degrees. Now you can check out the from which pages to which pages you want exactly to have the watermark. You can add on your own directly. So let's say I want from page one to page 10 only. Okay, I want to from page one to page 10 and over the PDF file, not below the PDF uh, content, over the PDF content, okay? Sometimes you may want to have it below, but I want it over the content because this is like um, a warning, something like that. Okay, so once you're done, you like what you see, you can come over here and click on add watermark. And the PDF has been stamped, so you'll be able to see it once it is downloaded. So just give some seconds to start the download and you can see it over here. Once it is downloaded, you see the watermark and its position and the sizing and the coloration and everything that we've defined, the transparency and all of that. All right, so right now the document had been downloaded. You can see it over here with watermark. You can just click 
and let's double click to open it and see what we are talking about. So you can see the watermark has been added confidential um, at 45 degrees. You can see, I'm sure you've seen some of these within different uh, many documents. It's really, really nice and it put it in a very, very fantastic way. You can see confidential, uh, confidential, confidential. Okay. Okay. So this concludes this class about adding watermark into your PDF document. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.